Happy Sunday, everyone. So this is my makeup for today. I love how it turned out. I used the e.l.f. Bite Size Eyeshadow in the shade um, Truffles. These are so nice. They are just beautiful. Hold on, let me get my lighting right. But they are really, really nice. I think they're only like three to five dollars but they are stunning and for my lipstick today i have on the maybelline lipstick it's the matte color sensational in 682 blushing pout i love like nudie nudie pinks or like neutral pinks or like wearable like your lips with better shades but yes i absolutely love it and for my lashes today I have on these Bombshell Kiss Lashes. Um, they're the Lash Couture Triple Push-Up. Yes, I love how my makeup turned out. And one thing that I struggle with is I love drugstore makeup, but eyeshadows are very difficult to find good drugstore eyeshadow palettes or just eyeshadows in general. I don't really count ColourPop as a drugstore because... You can't find it everywhere like you can only find it at Ulta or Colourpop's website but if you know of any other like good drugstore eyeshadows that you recommend let me know because I would love to try them <laughs> so that's my makeup I made a post so go check out my latest Instagram post because I give you all my makeup details and pictures of my makeup up close so go check it out leave a comment definitely like it so you can see every single detail that's on my face eyes lips face all of it is there <laughs> so on my latest makeup post people were asking me if i'm going out or going on a date night um no i would not be doing that at all right now especially with covid everyone's getting sick and I'm staying in my house unless I have to go out like grocery store pharmacy things you need I would be willing to go out for but a lot of times we do like uh, grocery delivery anyways so we don't really leave the house much so I'm gonna stay in my house where it's safe and you know not go anywhere <laughs> and and still have fun with makeup and whatnot because I love makeup. So since the pandemic started, things that I miss, I miss spending holidays with my family, like my extended family, like my grandma, my uncle, my aunt and uncle and cousin. I haven't seen them in over two years and I really miss them, but you know, we're not willing to take chances of getting COVID even though we're vaccinated. We just don't feel comfortable, especially since we all live in different households. So we don't really like to mix households. And yeah, definitely miss my family, number one. And I also miss, you know, going out to the beach, going on vacations. You know, I'm not willing to do those things yet. And you know, everyone has different things they're comfortable with doing and not. I wish that this was all over with. I wish, you know, I didn't have to worry about always wearing my mask constantly and, you know, using hand sanitizer and washing my hands and staying like six feet away from people. And I, I hate having COVID anxiety. It sucks. It really, really sucks. And, you know, I wish Gracie could be in the school building, but, you know, I don't feel safe for that either because, you know, there's so many cases and I just want everyone to stay healthy and safe. And, you know, that is the way I feel. That's, that's how I'm doing it. <laughs> I also wish I could get my vaccine booster right now but I can't get it till March because I got my second dose of the Pfizer vaccine in September so I think it has to be six months from your last dose so I, I wish I could have the booster right now if, I, if they told me I could go tomorrow and get it I would do it <laughs> 
So when I do Instagram stories, I'm going to try to remember to always put captions on them. A lot of people like captions on Instagram stories, but can you guys tell me like why you guys like captions on them? Because I hate that I always forget and I know so many people like them, but like why do you like them? Let me know.